Uh, let's bring into the conversation right now Rick Chavez the Burr, who represents L.A. in the state assembly. This is part of his district, UCLA. He called last night's violence horrific, saying that university security failed. He joins us now live from Sacramento. Assembly member, thanks so much for being with us. I want to give you credit because you have been out front on this issue, willing to talk about this issue when so many of your colleagues have frankly been silent or issuing paper statements. So thank you for talking about this. What is your reaction to what you are seeing right now on the campus of UCLA? You know, it's what's happening on the campus is really horrific. Um, you know, for a number of weeks now, um, we've seen a tinderbox uh, that has been in which the risks to students have been growing. And that's because the university has um, not uh, met the key responsibility it has, which is to protect the safety of its students and to make sure that all of its students have an, uh, an opportunity to get the education that they deserve. And they've been failing on both counts. Um, so I, you know, I think what's happening is, is horrible. I think the university needs to do better. Um, and they need to do better to protect all of their students. And this is not something that just started last night. Uh, you know, for several weeks, we've actually had uh, a situation in which um, Jewish students have been the subject of harassment and intimidation and violence, and there's been no response, very little response from the university to protect their, uh, their safety and their civil rights. Uh, and then we saw, because of the lack of a response from the university last night when we actually had mobs off you know they came in from 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 uh, onto the campus they failed to protect the safety uh, of the protesters uh, so the university needs to do much more I've been calling for them increase and change their security uh, protocols for days now um, and we saw uh, what happened when uh, they failed to do that so what does accountability look like for them because you say uh, that essentially the U chancellor was asleep at the switch. I don't know why don't we put that word into you, but, but you're frustrated with the chancellor. I know Governor Newsom is frustrated with the university leadership. Mayor Bass is frustrated with the university leadership. Both the Jewish students and the Palestinian students are frustrated with the university leadership. What happens to the university leadership going forward? I know the chancellor is already set to leave the job in a few weeks anyways. You know, I think there needs to be a full investigation of what happened last night. Uh, the university needs to be held accountable. Uh, the university uh, administration needs to explain why they have not been following their own policies and student codes that are there to protect the safety and the civil rights of all of their students. Um, this has been going on for weeks now. Um, we could see the tensions building. I was on campus on Sunday uh, and was attending the, uh, the rally that some of the Jewish students were happening. And when I got there, it was clear that they, there was no security on campus. There was, they gave uh, the, you know, the, 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 the anti-Israeli protesters and the Jewish students were basically, um, you know, uh, competing for space. The tensions were high. I was there, realized that there was absolutely no security on campus, was calling the chancellor's office, asking them to engage to come and protect the students who were there on both sides, and there was really no response. And that's why I became so engaged over the course of the last three or four days, because I could see that, this, that the university was failing at its key, uh, on its key obligation, which is to protect the safety of all of its students. Well, it is frustrating. It'll be interesting to see what accountability looks like. Does somebody lose their job over this? Uh, it is a good thing that so far nobody's been killed. Um, but that could have happened last night based off of what we were seeing out there. Um, and uh, who knows what's going to happen tonight. It looks like the pressure is building on campus right now. Uh, Assembly member, thank you again for coming on and being willing to talk about this. And I hope your colleagues will as well. Appreciate your perspective. Thank you, Alex.